it just adds it just adds to everything really it just adds to your views adds to your perception of life you know what it means to live because other people live differently and they're still happy other people live with less you find that and they're still just as happy you know if not more happy so you just you, you learn these things and it just gives you a better perception overall of the of life and what it means to live you know, we see other people living differently, you know. So, yeah, it adds for sure. It's done, man. It's done. It's done, man. It's fucking done. You see it on my shirt. It's done, man. This is it. This is what happens when it's done. You see the evidence, man. You see this? You see my boy Drake. We're working hard. Every night. We work hard. Every night. Yeah. We work hard. Every night. Every night. Every night. Yeah. 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 Je sais, je sais que tu es, es venu en France, <rire> que tu es, es, es né en France, après tu es parti à New York, et maintenant là où tu en es, tu es un exemple pour la France. <rire> un exemple pour la France. First headlining show in Paris. Y'all know I was born right in this fucking city, man. It's good to be back, for real. What's up, man? Paris, first time. I'm start. Yeah, it's my first time. Um, it's freezing. It's freezing. But I'm gonna enjoy it. You get to celebrate my birthday on this tour. It's kind of fire. Everybody's at, the whole point of the tour is, is it's literally a birthday tour. It's not even a too hot to ride tour anymore. Um, he thinks it's his tour, but it, it's really not. Um, it's really the night train birthday tour. So, it's, it's, all it's, it's not too hot to ride anymore. It's night train's birthday tour. Hey, I'm lit right now, bro. This finna, is some shit. Hit the it's so crazy, bro. This some shit. I was talking to my pop. He like, man, it's, you doing shit. You doing shit. I never got to do in my life. I was like, dang, bro. Hey, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Damn, pop. <laughs> nah, that's some real shit. But he ain't saying on no sad shit. He just said like, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. I was like, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, my folks too proud. Man. <laughs> We out here. My pop used to be, my pop was through here in the army. He was all in Germany and stuff, so. Hey, son, I see you. I see you, son. It's sweet. This shit straight, man. We out here. Stepping. Step. I can't believe I'm here, bro. It's so crazy. To step. Me, bro. Like, I'm standing there for it's it. raining. It's I ain't even seen the sunrise yet. I don't know what the sun looks like. I'm trying to tell him. It's been dark for the past like 24 <laughs> hours. Look, Derek. Come here. Come here. Hear me. Even better. Damn, it's 5.30, bro. First day. We're fucking idiots, man. We're idiots. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. Hey, man, this is what music, this is what the music procession consists of, nigga. Bro, I was, like, talking to myself, too. I was like, yo, you gonna be, you gonna be responsible, you gonna go home, you gonna sleep, you're not gonna go to the club. No. I was like, yo, uh, can you call everybody you know in Paris and find out where we can buy bottles tonight? I was like, oh, great. <laughs> Did you guys pay? Look, Kaz saved my life right now because I'm going to the Eiffel Tower. He had like a couple jams in that car.
Yeah, he was going up. <laughs> I fuck with you. Yeah. That's, wow. Yeah. Okay. This is real life. Yeah, let me go the street. This is real life. Look at this flip. Really at the Eiffel Tower right now. This is crazy. We are a fucking friend, bro. It's crazy, right? Crazy. I've been here before, but I've never seen the tower. I'm still, I'm still in shock. Bro. I've never been there. I'm You're still right. in shock. I've been here before. So now, I never thought. Not this age. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, this is. The fact that this shit really exists is. Uh -huh. It's like they teach you all this stuff about it when you're a kid. Uh -huh. But to actually see it, it's like mind blowing. Like it really exists. Like, like, fucking like you weren't lying. Fucking <laughs> Yeah. Definitely life changing for me. Um, you know, I, I I get to see the world. You know, and and it's something I always knew I wanted to do. But for me to do it, doing what I love, DJing and, and being in front of crowds is kind of amazing. And, and I get to be a part of an incredible family, which is pretty dope, pretty dope. Yeah, man, two out of right. This was, the, this was literally legit the best border we ever been through, bro. We been through a lot of borders, bro. We we niggas this we, fall. It's we beautiful. So you know that shit always be easy. <laughs> niggas, we take it. We actually taking pictures and filming this shit at the border, yo. In Canada. We should have never happened. Bro, we was Nigga came and he got the camera sir. like this. Excuse me, sir. Come with us. Sir. Come with us. Oh, come with us, sir. They take your ass out of this room, bro. They were going to be there for nine hours. Shout out to the UK, bro. They welcome us into their They country, let us bro. in, gave Canada, us tea and crumpets. We, we, Canada, they we, gave us tea it's all going in Canada and, and crumpets come back to at the US, border, bro. yo. But you know what? They know we just got Trump. They know we refugees now. They had little puppies in there for us and shit. She was crazy. We're not even Europe anymore. Shout out to the UK. We're actually not nowhere right now. We're like, we don't know where we at. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long till they start bitching at y'all for waving up in front of their shit? Passport, dude. I got hey, my somebody shit. Somebody hold this right here. Said no photos. We said nothing about Snapchat. The whole ain't no picture. You gotta hit him good. Like, you ain't got no power over me. We ain't never been no We ain't never been no one, folks. Can you open up to uh? No cameras, man. Can you open up to the? You gonna get arrested? That's what. And then we ended the verse on some nah, nah, nah. He said something like, uh. <laughs> it, it makes you cognizant that you are always a lifelong student of, of culture and student of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, constant travel opens your mind to, uh, to new experiences at all times, new ways of relating to people, new ways of experiencing. Like, the same fundamental things, though food, laughter. Enjoyment, rest, shopping, artistic things, you know, but it's always something new. It's like it's always a new chapter, always a new lesson to learn. So, like, that's that's really fine. And then, once, once, if you're there a little while longer, get into like real in depth conversations, you get to realize that people go through the same things you do, but it's just through a different lens. So, it's, it's it, it makes you forever young for real, for real. When you go up there, it don't feel as fast, but right here, this shit like it's moving, man. It's got some speed on it. For real. Like, I wonder what the significance is, like the birds following this shit. Like. They probably like, if I need to chill for a second, <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm I can stop on this shit. Yeah. Cause shit, where else you gonna go? Yeah. They really be flying over the ocean and shit, nigga. That's gotta be the illest shit. Mm -hmm. You know, you wanna see his bitch in London. You <laughs> <laughs> see a London bitch, like. I'm pulling up. Yeah, I'm gonna right fly off, baby. I'll be there. Meet me halfway.
I prefer the away games. The home games are the hard ones, man. I feel, especially because for us, we haven't played a home show in like, how, how, when was the last time we played a home show? Uh, it would have been Oslo. Yeah, it's a 2000. No, 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 Kensington Roof Gardens, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, true, so that would have been, what, 2015? About 200 years ago. <laughs> so this is like, a, this is like a, for anyone who's coming to see us today, it's like they haven't seen us in a long time. I mean, matter of fact, they might have thought that we'd broken up or like given up. So this, this is like a, for those people who do turn out, Yeah, this is like a sort of like... Hello! Like the... the <laughs> it's not a ring, it's like a... Like, yeah, you're re-emerging just That's like, it, yeah, just re-emerging. You, know, yeah. you got a haircut and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, exactly. New yeah. man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Said no New guy. <laughs> so it's great. It's time. My mum's here. My grandmother's here. I don't know how many I don't know how many Hicks supporters came down and how like how many of them were like bars fans that hadn't heard us before. But like I think what reinforced it again like any ins ins bars. yeah, well, yeah. any insecurities that we had like before the performance like were solidified when we came out and sang Ricochet. Yeah. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. because they were singing it back and like, mm -hmm. yeah. and that was amazing. Like that was when I was like, we're not in another country. Yeah. This this is North London. This is where I'm from. This is where I've grown up. You know, mm -hmm. and like, th we've done the full circle now. Do you know what I mean? We've come back, landed right here. You know. Like that was, it was kind of, I reckon that was the thing that was overwhelming about doing that gig. It was like coming back to London, having done everything. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you just want to avoid it in a way. Do you know what I mean? that's not like uh, 
like, like hardwired for us, you know? The States is, that's what they do, man. They do hip hop, they love us. To see more people in Paris come out than any city in the States is pretty cool. To see this be sold out, that's pretty fucking dope. Everybody's having a good time. To see everybody like come out to Europe for the first time, you know, expand the horizons. Boss always says like, this shit is pointless if uh, if the homies don't get to like experience it, you know? You got DB out here that sits at a fucking desk every day and trades and does bank and shit. And he's upstairs like selling sweatshirts. I don't know, that shit is cool to me. We've avoided every disaster so far, which is good. Shows that we're professionals. Yo! Yo! What up? Um, shit, man. We got, we got way too many boxes out there. There's not enough room. So is there anything we can move down here? Yeah. Or like the suitcases and shit? Anything we want to move I'm down. I'm not trying to overwhelm this girl, but she really seems another. like she's tripping a little bit. Not I really, but it's bad shit out there. We can put everything in the production office. Use the elevator. Ask them where the elevator is and bring all the, su bring all the suitcases into my, into my shit. It's down here? Yeah, it's over there. I'm about to move my shit over there right now. We need to eat, bro. Yeah, I know. What time what, 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 are you printing this? I'm trying, yeah. Are you doing like the front and back shit too? Yeah, or just yeah, doing everything. I'm about to put on, the Wi Fi is not working though. Um, yeah, so that shit's fun, man. It's cool to see. It's cool to see everybody. Um, homies are pretty professional, which is like, when I first started to get on this shit, it was always like, you know, you feel weird. You feel like an imposter almost, you know? You grow up watching rap music videos and listening to music and paying for concerts and don't know anything that goes into it. And then, you know, there's no KC, there's no Cole, there's no Eid. There's none of the big homies, it's just us. And we're walking into venues and they're fucking up and we're telling them how to do shit. And every anytime, like that's when I really began proud is when, you know, niggas ain't telling us what to do. We tell people what to do on a, on a level that you know, this is not just because Boss is our, our best friend since we were 12. You know, we could do this now for other artists. Every artist on this tour can now go on tour with a super professional artist and hold their own. So, outside of like the music and everything, it's cool to see just the growth of everybody. You know, like literally everyone, which is, which is pretty fire. So, it's going well. Yo, it kind of, it kind of did feel like LA for a little bit. I'm like, yo, it looks like I'm on Mid Wilshire or something. Then we're in fucking Manchester. A little bit of Chicago, a little bit of New York. Hello. Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> we need liquor. 100%. And bitches. Why do you keep going to get drunk, man? Stop drinking. Bro, it's just cold. What is that? Yo, it's just Dooley's Fun Time <laughs> Tour. That's the name of the new tour. I don't want to get Clyde right. I want to get Boss. This is the Dooley <laughs> Fun Time Tour. Every time I see this nigga, he got a cup. He's smiling and shit. So he be walking in at 8 30. What time tomorrow I stay? He be dead tomorrow. The boss is on. What time that fuck nigga boss going on? I'll take the pictures. We've been partying too much. I hate myself all day. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> Dog. I literally sleep one hour no, no, every <laughs> night in a bed. One hour. It's one like, hour. I don't know why I keep doing this. Every night I'm like, I'm gonna sleep. And I'm just up. <laughs> sleep one hour. One hour. That's all we need. Hey man. <laughs> Finally made it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, probably right up to me. Right up to me. Right up to me. It's morning. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Him. Go to work. Just keep it a book. Cloudy day in Frankfurt, you guys. Cloudy, rainy, fog. Almost winter day. So we got some homies, some local homies. Came through, hook niggas up. You ain't gotta show them. I don't know what kind of lifestyle they live in. You look, y'all ain't gotta be on camera, but they hook niggas up. Yeah, they hook niggas up. 
you already know what it is, man. I can make friends anywhere, bro. That's always been my thing, bro. I always been just good at making friends, bro. I told Barry that first thing he met me, he was like, what can you do? I like, I can rap and I can make friends. And not even on no homo or no weird shit. It's always on some like, hey, genuine. It ain't even no fake shit or no ugly shit. It's like, look, bro. We, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Got the amnesia lemon. Got the juicy fruit. That Jack Herrera. The orange bud. And we got some hash. Two types of hash. Cream de Maroc. And some Nepal cream. Cream, only the cream shit. Oh, this is nice. I like this. But uh, in America, we elected Trump, and that shit sucks. It's whack as fuck. It's super whack. So we gon' we gonna say some fuck Trumps and just release some steam. You dig? On your cue, Batman. It's like, it's kind of like a crazy experience, like every night to see the energy and see people really like sing your friend's lyrics and like feel that energy and like look up to them as like a, a figure. It's kind of like an out-of-body experience for all of us. Like we never thought that we would get to this point. We knew the music was good, but to see it, it's like, it's different. What's up, nigga? He's my motherfucking nigga. Fuck this nigga right here. Cedric. That's Ron Gilmore. That's all that nigga Gilmore. everything he you know. What the fuck is this bullshit? Nigga, 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 I wrote video. all boss oh, raps. Nigga, I mean, oh, yeah. Ron don't really be playing. It's a recording of me. <laughs> just be up there like faking the shit. Don't be snitching on me. <laughs> I'm sure that was lit. Be all lit. It's my, my birthday, man. Just don't tell nobody. So then niggas like, yo, I'm It was years later on some crazy shit. Nigga, you ain't the 20th yet, nigga. You ain't that lit. Yeah, it's 24. Just turned 24. Your birthday right now? Like eight minutes ago. Happy birthday! has been a true testament to that. Like this tour has been a testament to my theory. That if you just put out good music and if you're always doing good shit, people will fuck with you. Even after the shows. People that don't know me like after the shows. Like, I'm signing autographs and shit and waiting around and shit. And like people like want to meet me and people are interested in like what what's going on, you know. So man, this has been a real blessing. I'm just ready to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you heard my nigga Darren get it in and out every fucking day man and then he party except for the night it's the last night let my boy rest when we see this shit five to ten years out 
you know what I'm saying, it started looking like those crazy stadium concerts, like how they used to do all the time over in Europe. I think, uh, I think uh, the only thing that might change is uh, the order of the show. (laughs) (laughs) It might be the too hot to run to (laughs) it. Nah, fuck with you. Wow. I see. Cause with a lot of jewelry. A lot of jewelry. Yeah. Not like gold. That chain. See. I see Ron with like a synth lab. Instead of having one keyboard, he's going to have like 20. 20. Earth Gang are going to have like a trapeze artist. They're going to be suspended from the ceiling, flying around the room. Room for the Grammys. Yeah. I think Bass is going to expand his, like, the band set up. Yeah. Like, I think he's going to have a big, big be band. Because I know Bars like, loves just, like, musicians and respects musicians. Mm-hmm. Like, they will jump on tour, having just, you know, done his first movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a couple of movies under his, under under his, his belt. belt. Yeah, hunt definitely. But, yeah, I reckon I could see Bars with, like, a 60-piece orchestra, like, playing Housewives. Sick. You know. Be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, then like the lights go off, and then like at this point it's gonna be like GTA like ten, fifteen, something like that, and like Bars is gonna talk about GTA five, and then and then I come up on like a smoke stair lift, <laughs> and then everyone puts their like iPhone like fifteens in the air. It's gonna be jokes. <laughs> oh, I like that idea. I feel you like it. Too. Look at us now, Tor. It's not the reunion. Hicks said that. We up now. Hicks I like said, that. Hicks said you're going to have a, uh, a 75 person band on stage performing behind you. Wow. That's an orchestra. I don't think you can call it a band once you got 75. I think it's a cap. You got like a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I got to take you in and no, no, be no. seriously. Hold on. That, that caught me off guard. I'm used to that, but not for you. Yeah, I mean, it, it was dope to take through what I had never been, you know? That's kind of cool to just kind of live vicariously through them. I've done it, you know, we've done it a few times. And, like, you kind of get jaded if you don't use that new energy's perspective. So it was kind of ill just bouncing around Europe with all the homies that hadn't done it. Um, it gave me a lot of life. I think doing it out there, I don't know, man. I guess it speaks to, to you just really don't understand your reach. I think it was, it was kind of an awakening in that sense. You don't think you can reach all those people. You don't think you know, you're relevant to those people. Um, but you really are, which is like crazy. They're just all these places you aren't. Um, so definitely the, the reach is, is crazy. It's just the reach of hip hop in general. You're seeing it um, in all these other countries, you're seeing the culture. You know, everything about how they move and dress and talk and, and dance, you know, is, is based off of this culture that, that, you know, we all have some contributions to. It's finally over. Finally over. Finally over. Cheers. Cheers. Cheerio.